funny. Let's just say that. Zyro going Bowser, Villager or oh, hell Prismoid yeah. going. Yeah, Villager going Prismoid. One, go. Villager going Prismoid? Nice. I didn't know they added Prismoid. New DLC character? Oh yeah, no, he's the Secret Sixth uh, DLC character. Yeah, after like the eight fire, eight fire emblem character they had. Yep. So Prismoid's doing a really good job at generally just doing a bunch of aerials at Bowser. And Bowser's a very big character. Going in with forward airs, trying to drop a bowling ball on him, it didn't work. Throwing out the Lloyds, the back throw. And he drops the bowling ball and is very successful. Ouch. I think Zara's smiling from that. Like, uh, he's just here to have fun today, I believe. With the Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that picture. It's not even black, though. You can't really tip. At least you can tip and be like, coin. <laughs> I think I was like 15 when I took that picture. Ooh, high recovery, big risk. And is not especially good especially against Villager, but then again, I think the Bowser Villager matchup is not that good for Bowser, mainly because Villager just has so many options, and uh, Ooh. Bowser can barely recover without being completely punished either by a forward air, by a Lloyd, by a Force spike. Mesh. I am just assuming that you got a disjointed spike. Bowser is your Bowser doesn't like you. Yep. But Bowser's got flamethrower, which is a nice tool to use against. Him. Villager. Oh, that was winners finals. Whoopsies. I just realized it was not losers, it's winners. My bad. And he goes in for a suicide. Tries to go for the reset, but he can't do that oh. with Bowser because Villager, all he has to do is hit a B. So unfortunately, Zyro does do an SD. But, oh, Villager has just such a really good this recovery. So stuff like this so cannot happen. sad. Why is this sad, team? So I feel for him. I feel for him. He just wanted to restart the thing, but no, he has to take him out the hard way. He wanted to be sick off stage. It was a smart play on paper, but it is Ooh, Villager. Ooh, going Gonna in reset for the back air. It. Bowser being such a heavy character, the stocks basically being e even a percentage. Well, well, yeah. Because, like, sure, Villager has all the aerials. We can barely like, do, like... Dink damage to Bowser. Yeah, Prismid's like, on point right now with the aerials. He has to be, though, if he wants to take on Bowser and put him in very difficult situations like the forward smash. He busts out the tree, and unfortunately, Zyra with the get up, with just a regular timber. get up. Ouch. He got timbered really hard. Bear Hugger is somewhere. Is somewhere yeah, out Pitbull there approved of that play. Sorry. Nice. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up in my mouth just from thinking about that song. Ugh. Yeah, really. So really. I don't know what stages were banned, but the <laughs> Yoshi story has actually been picked. I think that actually would benefit this point more mainly because of how big it is. And Cyro is going Busting Pokemon out Trainer. The Pokemon Trainer. He actually I mean, is going to try. This, I this is his actual character, but like, this is come on. The Bowser. The Bowser was sick. Three, the Bowser was sick. One, go. Yeah, that's why it's awesome. So, Zyro going in with the up air. Just so much up. damage, oh my god. And it has a very big hitbox. Yes. Going in for dash attacks. The up air. Speaking of big hitboxes, Ivysaur is basically a sword character. With no. the type of range he's got. Super disjointed. Look at that. I'm not really so sure about that. I think uh, just Ivysaur is... I know Ivysaur is a great character, but I wouldn't compare him to Sorty. Unless Zyro himself says it. I'd rather hear from the main though it's like, oh, you can just treat uh, Bulbasaur like a Sorty. And the thing is though, Bulbasaur's got insane range. I don't think no Sorty has that. The only type Bulbasaur. of... Ivysaur. Yeah. <laughs> Crap, you caught me on that. Good. Aha. He's definitely a Pokemon fan. Who's... Wow, that recovery was so smart. Tether canceling is really cool, and Zyro takes full advantage of it. Oh. Villager with the really good recovery spikes me nothing. Throws in, throws in for a back air. Does uh, 
I'm actually surprised Prism Point is not pocketing uh, any of the Razor Leafs and trying to do like any sort of potential like combo or projectile. Like, I, I just realized that he has not even tried to pocket it. And I don't think he needs to because he just did a forward air and it killed uh, Ivy Sword. So now Zyro busting out Charizard, I don't think that's a really good idea. Because the um, thing is, though, Charizard's very big. Like, it'd be the same problems as Bowser. But Zyro just did an upbeat. So now he's going to Squirtle, trying to get that very early percentage and kind of balance out the sizes. Having a tough time, though. Just he's going to have a tough time. Ooh, but the moment jump. Zyro wow. gets into Prismoid, like, Prismoid's going to have a very difficult time getting in there. Very clever wall jump usage there. Unfortunately, some big damage coming from uh, Villager. Goes in for the neutral the air, up. into back air. He's trying to go for another back air so that he can actually get that kill confirmed. Uh, he will take the extra LP damage. Whoa, whoa. Read the side B and rolled into it. Good job. It was a really ballsy play. You know what though, I do respect the, I do respect the side B for that. I respect the hell out of it. Now, first point's a, uh, I don't know if he was just getting antsy or trying to do something, but okay, he goes in for the up smash. Unfortunately, Charizard gets a star KO and Zyro kind of just shrugs it off. I'd be sort of punishing that tree over there. Just want to take it down. And the Yoshis are currently cheering on as the music plays. Yes, as a commentator, I will point out the music. Goes in for a nair. Prismoid trying to recover with the down there, popping both balloons. Oh my goodness. Oh, now I can hear the Yoshis. Oh, you can hear it? All right. Yeah, I had to turn up the volume. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? It's like, oh, you just increased the volume. Now, ooh, that's just a second off. That uh, would have been very bad for Zyro. This is gonna be a, this is best of five. Yeah, that's right. Yes, this is winners finals. This will be a best of five type uh, thing. I just need to reconfirm. Yeah, no, because I originally read this off as oh, this is this is what I also really. The entire game is gonna be played off stage. Yeah, but you know what I really liked is the how Zyro mixed it up. Like he was wasn't doing well with Ivysaur's recovery. He switched to Charizard and he just recovered. This is the kind of stuff that I do kind of like going in for the side B. He's actually really glad that it did not did, did, that it did not hit shield. If it did hit shield, he would have been put into a very unwinnable situation. I think did he's I think he's trying to go for it. For that. That was scary. Oh my gosh. I think Zyro he's going to try to go for it. He's going to try and go for Do a it. kill. Do he's it. not going to go for a stylish kill. He's just going to try oh. and get, get a kill. Fortunately, the bit now throws not going to do it. Wants to make sure he doesn't get into a tree situation. That was actually very smart of him to do that. He's already a high percentage as it is, so he'll just take the recoil damage. I'm sweating, bro. I generally see what's going on. Goes in to get rid of the Lloyd. Zyro needs to play it patiently. And then, no, Prismoid's like, I'm gonna just do a forward here. Stas is doing some dash dances, just jumping around. He he took advantage of the fact that oh, uh, the tree just that's went it? down. Yep. Low That's ceiling. Low, uh, low, ce <laughs> low ceiling. He did really well on making sure he got that, uh, read the tree as to when it was about to rot. You alright? Yes. Hold on. Just, just, uh, just, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm legally blind. I right. cannot see. I am legally blind. <laughs> Oh, God. A little bit of spread went on my nose. <laughs> yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. So, Zyra's still sticking there. The characters are still the same. Stick with what works. Stick with what works for both characters because it was a very, very close set. I did not know what stage was picked. I'm assuming Smashville. I was kind of hoping for that sick play where you go for the back throw right into the flare blitz. I don't think he wanted to risk it. I would have lost my mind if he got that. Well, yeah. It's always cool to see the stylish things. 
So, oh, that is the first time that Prismoid actually pockets the oh, Ivysaur projectile. Oh, he's pocketed. He pocketed right earlier. Oh, he did? I didn't yeah. even know it was. Going with the forward air strings. Oh, my God. He just... That actually kind of scared me a bit. No, Going really in. Good. Pokemon Trainer with the uh, encouragement of words of just wake up, even though he was buried. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Got to put a little back up. Doing the back air. Ooh. Oh, no. No. Good mashing. Going in. Good mashing. Did not get forward smash. Goes in. He's going to do it again. Yeah, but Charizard back. is very thick. Goes in for an up air. Prismoid's going to most it. likely try and go for another up air. Now, I think all he's got to do is... I think Prismoid's most likely going to go in for another down smash if uh, Zyro gets up close and personal. doesn't matter which character. He's just going to be like, I'm a down smash and I'm a forward smash. These pockets. He's really pocketing those projectiles, doing a massive... This is basically a gunfight. Potted plant dash attack. Ooh, that was... Got the legend invincibility just in time. Man, this is Zyro's like really like getting those timings perfectly. He's really making sure um, he does not get hit by what uh, Prismite throws at him. Oh man, going in for some jumps. Goes in for a forward air, throws the Lloyd rocket, just constantly throwing forward airs. Zyro with the back air into the bite oh whip. Oh my god. Whipping him out of there for his first stock. Whip it good. Whipped it good and got Evo. the first stock. So he's, al he's already at 40%. What? Spike, spike, spike. Aw. Oh, very clever. Ooh, oh, the nair. That was this actually pretty clever. <laughs> you have been baited. Goes in. Does the side B very for. Clever. Now he's going to switch uh, to Squirtle. And actually now go to Ivysaur. Can you just imagine if they actually buff it so that you can select uh, the Pokemon? Pretty, pretty interesting. That would mean just more Ivysaur. Yeah. And yeah. You gotta mix it up, you know? The point of this character is to play three characters, right? Not one. Well, some people can actually do well with just going Charizard or Ivysaur or Squirtle. Yeah, but... Yeah, the fully master Pokemon trainer, you need to play all three characters. Yeah. It's more fun. Yep. But, uh... Ooh. I actually prefer the uh, Ivysaur voices other than the English dub. Or the uh, Japanese. Uh, voices, because I think Ivysaur's voice was like really high pitch. Oh really? I like yeah. the low pitch one. If I, I, I wish it was like got... low, lower pitch. Here's one going in for the grab. Try to go for the forward air. Try to read the tether recovery with the forward smash. But I think in this case, Prismoy needs to read the second tether, not the first. I would really like to see Ivysaur voiced by Isaac Hayes, if Isaac Hayes is still alive. Oh, just goes in for dash attacks, immediately does the side B, gets hit in the back of the head. Get sniped. I think he's, no, I think he tried to go for an up B, but unfortunately, uh, invincibility frames, or no, air dodge frames. Zyro, I thought he SD'd. Goes in for a uh, Razor Leaf. Tries, goes in for a neutral air. It does kill. Very clever, very clever edge guard right there. Both on their last stock at 0%. Uh, Prismoid missing that, but I don't even think it would have connected. I think Prismoid's going to now incorporate a more aggressive uh, style, but like going like more up close and do nares. But I think it's not working. And I, oh no. Oh my God. Did, wait, what, what is going on? Oh man. Wow. Well, I thought that, that would have like, <laughs> I thought that would have, the up B would have recovered. I'm actually surprised that when he did that, it just, he just stood there. That was awesome. So I have no idea what stages were banned, but I'm going to assume FD and... Uh, um, a, at least one stage was banned. 
yeah, at least one stage is banned. I know that for sure. Uh, going back to Pokemon Stadium. Um, kind of surprised on that. I, unless uh, Zyro did ban Town and City. Um, I, I wish I could kind of hear the conversation, but they kind of can't. So they are going. They are still going to Pokemon Stadium one, but oh man. Look, I'm just really glad that no one around this area actually has to hear the song, but us commentators and all you viewers on the Twitch chat, unfortunately, have to hear Lumio City for the next uh, seven minutes tops. Yeah, probably. There's a lot of camping. <laughs> well, it's a lot of defensive plays, projectile exchanges. Like, it's... It's not camping. It's it's just... No, it's passive. It's passive play. Yeah. Like... I don't need to get up close, so I'm not gonna Camping close. is is actually like disregarding an advantage to go back into uh, neutral. Yeah. Anyway. Going in for dash attacks. Zyro going in aggressive, trying to get those sick Vine Whip kills. Going in for that jab ah! lock into up smash. Doesn't get anything out of the else out of that, but. I mean, it was sick while it lasted. Going in for the, uh, going in for back airs. Goes in for the throw. Does the vine whip? I'm assuming that's what was an up. Vine pockets, whip. pockets the, what, uh, pockets the razor. Does it get the speak? Spiker. Goes in for another vine whip. Oh Ooh. no, he's still living. Ooh, we living. Very good recovery. Of yep. He does really. He does uh, do really good on those recoveries. No, like you know, even though he is like on the easiest recovery character in the game, or character with the best recovery, not necessarily the easiest. He's, he's really clever with the mix-ups. Ooh, Cyro with an unfortunate uh, getting hit by the forward smash. From Home Alone slapstick joke right there. And that's going to be a big punishment. Yeah, no, it's not going to be a big punishment. Part of me is wondering Zyro might have SD from that if he just left him alone. I, uh, yeah, probably. I'm not really so sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Every time I think Villager is down, I always think it's an SD. But no, like, it's Villager. He's got really good recovery. Ooh. Ooh. That was a good read on the forward smash. Unless if a miracle happens, I do believe this might go into game five. You don't have to two frame them to prevent them from even grabbing dice in the first place. Hey. Is that a throwing in the vine whip? Or no, Prismoid grabbing the vine whip. It's like Zyro grabbed its own razor whip. Oh my goodness. Going in for a down air, going in for a forward smash, but Prismoid is just playing it safe and throwing out as many projectiles as he can, being the uh, villager zoner is Ooh, villager's on the defensive zoner. Doesn't kill. Uses the razor leaf. Gets down the up. Yep. But as long as he steps on the ground, he's going to definitely get his second balloon. So he goes in for a neutral air, but fine whip, the that does whip. not kill him. It's a little stale. I honestly thought it was going to be like, no, the ups, uh, up throw, slam. No, he the still slam lives. Boney's not going to do it. I think if Zyro did it on the platform, it would have Does a neutral Ooh, air, but Prismoid techs it. Forward air. Prismoid is still alive at 168%. Prismoid's a madman. And he's still on his second stock. Find me in my tree. And that and was a bit of a DBZ moment. Not ah, shoot. Uh, uh, ah, yeah. light. Ah, ah, light. Yes, I need to wear my sunglasses. My, Hold my on. pasty, my pasty white skin. You're a vampire, man. Uh. <laughs> so I really have no idea what stages Prismoid banned. We're gonna see what Zyro picked. He is going to. Go the battlefield, or is he gonna go the Yoshi's? I don't know. I'm tired of wearing these glasses. <laughs> uh, joke's over. Screw him. You can look cool. Thanks. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna not look cool. I got the Slayer sweater. I'm already cooler than everyone else. I'm pretty sure Zyro's thinking as to what. Can
character to pick. I don't think he knows. Is he going to bust out Hunger 2? Is he, is he going to... Hungi 2? Sorry? Are we going to see Hungi 2? No. Nope. He's still sticking to his guns going Pokemon Trainer. Get speech. We need to compensate this. What's been going on? So, getting in those strings uh, with Squirtle, doing really well trying to get that early percentage, and then going to be switching on to Ivysaur. I immediately called it that he was going to switch to Ivysaur in order to get that damage. Once uh, I believe he gets to 90%, Zyro will switch to Charizard. I'm guessing it right now, 90% Charizard. Okay, he's at 90, so let's see. He's got one balloon popped. No, he doesn't. No, I was incorrect. Okay. Oh my goodness, the Lloyd! He got two frames by the Lloyd. That genuinely surprises me. I, that's not no. sauce. Also, it is really nice to be hearing Super Smash Bros. melee targets, break the targets. Props to Argo uh, for his switch because he uh, picks the correct songs. Um, so going in for forward air. Charizard busting out. Wow. Goes in for a side B. Hits the Lloyd, so he didn't have to deal with that uh, animation. Yeah. The massive amounts of end lag lasts a few seconds. It's like worse than a Warlock punch. Even worse than a Falcon punch. Yeah. Goes in. Goes in for the forward tilt. Does in. Does a. Uh, Takes Prismoid's first stock. Oh my goodness. Now he's back to Squirtle, trying to do as much early damage as he can with the down air to the forward till into the grab, which led to the up air. Now he goes back to Ivysaur to make sh to get that big, big damage. And Prismoid showing off his recovery, recovering on the other side of the battlefield. But I know there was a, a much bigger reason, but it's just like, hey, I can do this because I have Villager. Gets the back air, and Zyron's on his very last stock. Zyro. Immediately off going for Charizard to go for a quick aggressive kill. Try to make sure he did, he makes it in even one stock, 0%. Goes in for an up smash, misses, first one misses the grab. Lo side beats into the Lloyd yet again. I'm surprised he didn't do like any shield damage to Prism. Goes in with Squirtle. Uh, Prismoid's at a very high percentage, so I think he's gonna do Squirtle for a bit and then immediately switch to Ivysaur. So he goes in for Ivysaur for recovery. Tethers. Does not get hit by the forward smash. So now they're at neutral, but Prismoid is still just throwing things at him. Just slingshot. Where does Villager keep the stuff from the Slingshot anyway? In his pocket. Yeah, but those are some deep pockets. But then again, yeah, he's got a... cargo shorts on. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't think about it like that. Goes for the spike. Tech's it. Oh my goodness, that was a tech. The tech lord. Someone out there is really probably just uh, went nuts over that tech. Goes for an upbeat. Gets the kill. Now he's got to do some very quick damage, very quickly. Going in for the forward air. Going into a neutral air. To the back air. Prismoid teching it. He is at 20%, but Zyro unfortunately is at 88%. Zyro is going to have to do some big mini damage, which was exactly what I did, which is a commentator's blessing in this case. Big damages. Big. Goes in. Tries to go for the Vine Whip. Doesn't go so well. Goes in for the tether recovery. Tries to shoot the projectiles. Goes in for an up air. This is now even 
now he's Dyro's at complete advantage, going in at 102 with 99%. This is just really good. Prismite with the back air. Back air, more into back air. Charizard with the oh, side beam recovery, no. goes in for the up B. He's doing really good with the forward smash. Just clutches it. Prismoid moving on to grand finals while Zyro is at losers.